Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for March 5th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day, Self-Will. No matter how one wishes to try, exactly how can he turn his own will and his own life over to the care of whatever God he thinks there is? A beginning, even the smallest, is all that is needed. Once we have placed the key of willingness in the lock and have the door ever so slightly open, we find that we can always open it some more. Though self-will may slam it shut again, as it frequently does, it will always respond the moment we again pick up the key of willingness. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 35. Acronyms. Eddie, not die. Easy does it, not does it easy. Just for today. Explanation from more about alcoholism. We learned we had to fully concede to our innermost selves that we were alcoholics. This is the first step in recovery. The delusion that we are like other people, or presently may be, has to be smashed. We alcoholics are men and women who have lost the ability to control our drinking. We know that no real alcoholic ever recovers control. All of us felt at times that we were regaining control, but such intervals, usually brief, were inevitably followed by still less control, which led in time to pitiful and incomprehensible demoralization. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 30. Daily Reflections, a lifelong task. Just how, in these circumstances, does a fellow take it easy? That's what I want to know. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 26. I was never known for my patience. How many times have I asked, why should I wait? When I can have it all right now. Indeed, when I was first presented the Twelve Steps, I was like the proverbial kid in a candy store. I couldn't wait to get to step twelve. It was surely just a few months' work, or so I thought. I realize now that living the 12 steps of AA is a lifelong undertaking. As Bill sees it, search for motives. Some of us clung to the claim that when drinking, we never hurt anybody but ourselves. Our families didn't suffer because we always paid the bills and seldom drank at home. Our business associates didn't suffer because we were usually on the job. Our reputations didn't suffer because we were certain few knew of our drinking. Those who did would sometimes assure us that, after all, a lively bender was only a good man's fault. What real harm, therefore, had we done? No more surely than we could easily amend with a few casual apologies. This attitude, of course, is the end result of purposeful forgetting. It is an attitude which can be changed only by a deep and honest search of our motives and actions. 12 and 12, page 79. Big Book Quote When we became alcoholics, crushed by a self-imposed crisis, we could not postpone or evade. We had to fearlessly face the proposition that either God is everything or else he is nothing. God either is or he isn't. Alcoholics Anonymous, We Agnostics, page 53. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Sometimes we try too hard to get this program. It is better to relax and accept it. It will be given to us with no effort on our part if we stop trying too hard to get it. Sobriety can be a free gift of God, which he gives us by his grace when he knows we are ready for it, but we have to be ready. Then we must relax, take it easy, and accept the gift with gratitude and humility. We must put ourselves in God's hands. We must say to God, here I am, and here are all my troubles. I've made a mess of things and can't do anything about it. You take me in all my troubles and do anything you want with me. Do I believe that the grace of God can do for me what I can never do for myself? Meditation for the day. Fear is the curse of the world. Many are our fears. Fear is everywhere. I must fight fear as I would a plague. I must turn it out of my life. There is no room for fear in the heart in which God dwells. Fear cannot exist where true love is or where faith abides. So I must have no fear. Fear is evil, but perfect love casteth out all fear. Fear destroys hope, and hope is necessary for all of humanity. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may have no fear. I pray that I may cast all fear out of my life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 
55012. This is Kurt. I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.